My name is Tar Mahoney, and I was the uh, director, writer, and producer of Forgive. We come here in friendship. We come here with great hope. But most importantly, we are here in a spirit of forgiveness. Forgive is the story of uh, former National Chief Bill Fontaine's journey to Rome to seek an apology from uh, Pope Benedict for the cultural damage caused by Indian residential schools. Often when it comes to Indian residential schools or the relationship between uh, non-Aboriginal and Aboriginal people, often there isn't a very positive story told there and I wanted to tell a positive story about that. Before I made this film I hadn't, I literally hadn't touched a camera, like I had no idea how to direct or what went into making a documentary film um, and I just did it, I just kind of jumped in and I, I had to because like it was so timely, like this event was happening and I just worked really hard to figure out how I could make it the best it could be. For me personally, it's, uh, it's somewhat surreal. We couldn't imagine or dream of this when we were growing up. Kids on a reserve traveling across the sea to come and meet uh, the Holy Father. It was support like from my, my advisors, my professor and my family that they were just like, you you know it sounds cheesy but they're like you can do it and also you have to do it <laughs> so I that was the cool thing about being in school was that I, there was deadlines and there was um, like expectations that I had to, I had I just had to meet and um, and then so that was good that was what was pushing me but then there was just the added kind of self-motivation of I wanted it I just wanted it to be good it was a really important subject the the person, I guess, who uh, inspired me most to get into film was Astra Taylor, who made Examine Life. What was inspiring about it was that she took these really complex ideas and made them accessible and stylish, and, uh, and so you were, get, you were being entertained, but also um, learning these really like deep ideas about the underpinnings of society, and I just thought the way that she did that was just really brilliant, and, and, uh, and the fact that she was like a young girl. and. Um, yeah, I just, that was probably my, my big inspiration. I like to be able to see like a story in my mind and then what's exciting about documentary is that there's this element of spontaneity that happens. So it's like you have this idea in your mind of the message that you want to get across, but then you, you have to leave it up to the character and like, fate and all those things to come in and like and that's telling the story too so it's sort of like this dance. The Vancouver Short Film Festival has been amazing in welcoming and promoting the work and you're in the Vancouver community and with like fellow filmmakers and, um, and mentors and stuff like that and you can invite all your friends and they can watch your work and building a community around it and making it like a really fun time and a really great thing to be a part of. I've, I really enjoyed my experience.